Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to do a challenge reading, Princess Catherine versus the York Girls. What's going on there? There's always been rumors that the York Girls call um, Princess Catherine a commoner. They've never seemed very tight, very... Um, uh, close, like even when you see royal things going on, you can you can feel the distance there. Um, and also they have proven, the York girls have proven that they are friendly with uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. But I think that's shifting. Um, they may be, of course, Harry will always be their cousin. Um, but uh, Meghan will probably be the ex-wife soon. So I brought out the Game of Thrones because we are talking about the Game of Thrones. Um, there's been um, ugly rumors that the York girls say, well, we we're born princesses. You're just a commoner, um, which I find interesting because, well, why do they talk to Meghan? And what about their mother? Um, you know, I know there's some kind of um, loose aristocrat something where her father, Fergie's father was a major or a general or something like that. Um, but I, I just find that so strange that they would say that uh, when their mother's side of the family is uh, our commoners. Like, so what are they saying when they say that about... Um, about Catherine. So I'm going to do a challenge reading. I'm using Game of Thrones here because uh, even though they're born princesses, do they now have to bow to the princess of Wales when they see her? I don't know. Anybody know that? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, but they will have to bow to her when she becomes queen. <laughs> you know, karma. Boy, that's a dish best served cold. Um, Call it from calling her a commoner to having to bow to her, to curtsy to her. Okay, so let's let's do a challenge. Upright, positive, reverse negative. Uh, Prin Catherine, Princess of Wales, on the top, and the two York girls. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, just call them the York girls on the bottom. What's the energy there? Because they are two peas in a pod, and rightfully so. They're sisters, as they you know they should be. Um, they're they're actually a really good example for William and Harry. Um, let's see what's going on. Let's do an energy challenge reading. Catherine, Princess of Wales, on top. The York girls on the on the bottom. Uprights, positives, reversals, negatives. Let's go. Oh, interesting cut. Very few fell out. Oh, the moon, upright. Ah, uh, six of spears, upright. Nine of Cups in reverse. Six of Coins, upright. King of Coins in reverse, Harry. Four of Swords, upright. Four of Cups in reverse. The World, upright. Queen of Swords in reverse. The Hermit, here comes Harry, up upright. The Star, upright. Diana, Knight of Swords in reverse, bad words. Uh, Knight of Cups, upright. What are we at here? And the Sun in reverse. Underlying Queen of Cups. Oh my God. This is either Camilla or this is Diana. Let's get into the reading and find out. Queen of Cups in reverse. So for uh, Catherine, we have one, two. But the two that we have, our um, major arcanas for the York girls. We have one, two, three, four, five, five upright. You know what? I think they have, those rumors are true. They have tried to put a Catherine in their place. Um, let's get into the read. The moon and the knight of cups. There is something illusions here that she was welcomed into the family. Because the Knight of Cups would be welcoming your knight in shining armor, bringing something to you. And the moon, of course, is illusions, delusions. And this is taking something back when Knight of Cups is in reverse and the cup is empty. Um, I think Kate was not as welcomed uh, by the York girls at all. I don't think so at all. They were, they didn't like say, oh my God, my cousin's marrying this amazing girl. Uh, not at all. Right from the start. Right from the start, it was an illusion that uh, um, if they showed any kind of friendliness towards her, that was an illusion. 
Um, here we have the star uh, and the nine of cups. Um, I, 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 I think nine of cups is upright is wishes coming true can be a bit of gluttony in reverse. It's wishes that didn't come true. Um, and I, I think, you know, this, this hopes, uh, sorry, I'm stumbling. The star is hopes and wishes coming true. And then, and the nine of cups is the sister, the smaller sister card, the little sister card of the star cub card. And she was really hoping for a much better reception. Um, you know, this star card, you can just see she's kind of in the dark. Um, and I think the reception she got from the girls was not at all what she thought it was going to be. It actually, with the King of Coins in reverse here, Queen of Swords in reverse here, Harry and Meghan made it worse. Queen of Swords came in here and been her, her big... B I T C H Y self King of Coins. This is Harry coming in here. Um, I think once Harry got together with her, it actually made it worse, and they became like a, a trio um, or a, a quadro of of enemies. This would be an enemy, King of Coins. This is Harry. It, they became enemies, and you know what? Though I think. Catherine kind of has some big regrets about it, about how maybe she handled it. Um, maybe she should have shine, shone her, her light a little brighter rather than the, in this star card. She's she kind you kind of go backwards instead of coming out and saying and shining your light. Um, uh, I think she has some regrets into that, that she didn't come out and and and. I think she was pretty meek when she joined as who would it be? I mean, you're meeting, you're coming into the Royal family. Um, you know, who wouldn't be intimidated by that? And I think she has some regrets. I think she has some regrets how she handled that at the beginning. And also once uh, Megan came in, um, it kind of turned her world upside down. Actually it did, especially with these two, on Megan's side, and I'm going to show you that in in a minute here. Um, they definitely came in and said, "Yeah, we're way better than you." Uh, six of spears is six of wands. Yeah, we're way better than you. Um, but that is going. That light is going to go out soon. Like I said, I don't know if they have to now curtsy to her as as Prince of Wales, but once she is queen, man, their light is going to go out. They're like, they're going to get theirs. That's going to be a dish best served cold. Um, they did say really nasty things to her. Six of coins is being charitable, is, you know, welcoming. Look, at he's even holding his hand like, hello, how are you? Uh, and the knight of swords is nasty, nasty words. Very nasty words. Uh, saying rude things, uh, being rude. Um, I wouldn't say this is on the internet because your girls don't do the internet that way. Um, but I think they turned like, right. This is, this is in reverse. They turned their back on her. They're like, Oh, hi, Kathy. Is it? Oh, Kate. Oh, Oh yeah. You know, like, look at like this, even being a little bit, um, suspicious, and, de and demeaning in some respect. And and they did not treat her nice right from the start. Right from the start. They were not fair with her at all. They didn't even give they didn't even give her a chance. They did not even give her a chance. Um, and I think it's it here's Hermie. Here's Harry the Hermit. Harry the Hermit had a lot to do with that. He had a lot to do with that. Um this four of swords upright. This is to me like leave, be quiet, leave her alone, um, ignore her. That would be ignoring um, because the hermit also like is is withdrawing. Um, so he might have said, "You guys, chill out a little bit, chill out a little bit. She's not that bad. Give her a chance. Kind of just ignore her for now, and uh, let's leave it at that." And I think they did because we have the world upright. I think they did. And I think because Harry um, kind of stepped in and said, you know what, girls, chill, right? Look at this, chill, just chill, just chill. 
um, just leave her alone because you have to remember at the beginning, it was the three of them. Um, you know, Harry was really supportive of Catherine and Harry's is uh, Harry showed up upright in their reading. Harry is a big part of their world, right? Hermie is a big part of their world. Um, you know, here's the three of them hanging out. Um, you know, they're all, they'll never be king. They all have the same sword, uh, that they have to live with. So I think that's why they are close with, with Hermie, um, but here he turned, he turned on Catherine once um, uh, Megan came into the picture. When Megan came into the picture, she saw an in there because that's what the Queen of Swords does. She saw an in there and uh, Harry jumped on it here because here we have Hermie on the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, and then we have uh, the Four of Swords on the King of Coins. So the Four of Swords is now Harry's laying down how he was and he becomes the reverse King of Coins. He becomes very ignorant. Um, and it's once Megan entered the picture. Yeah, I think I think what we've got here is Catherine really regrets that she didn't let her, her star shine brighter. That maybe um, she was a little bit warmer. Um, that she didn't feel so intimidated, um, that, um, yeah, she, she regrets how she handled it. And interestingly enough, William isn't in here. It's, it's, her, she doesn't blame William. Uh, she doesn't blame the Royal family. She, she blames herself. She took, she's taking full regret, full responsibility, and she wishes she would have handled it a lot better. But once these two came on board, once Megan came on board with Harry, it got a lot worse for her. And that's why I think she regrets not, not getting those connections a little bit stronger. And then I wonder if she, if um, that wouldn't have been a factor if she would have connected, warmed, uh, warmed up to them or somehow had them warm up to her in some respects. Um, but yeah, Harry flipped on her. Her, her Hermie went from being uh, Hermie to flipping on her. King of Coins flipped on her once Megan showed up and, uh, and they became worse, but they're going to pay, they're going to get theirs. So what's this Queen of Cups? I don't think this is uh, Camilla at all. This is the battle between um, who's the best daughter-in-law for Diana because the star is already on here. So this is Diana. Um, and, you know, Megan wants to be Diana 2.0 and, and Catherine has the ring. And, and, you know, why does it always go back to that wicked witch of the West? Always. Ace of Coins. Oh, yeah. And it's always about who has the most money. Um, money's a factor because that's the, the Yorks aren't as wealthy as the Windsors. Let's face it. it that, that, that's, a, that's a fact. That's a fact. So a lot of it has to do with money. So instead of them saying, uh, we've got more money than you, which Megan does, and I don't think they, they, that's not a, a royal thing. We've got more money than you. That's, uh, you know, we might not have more money than you, but we have, we're born princesses. Ooh, traitor, ten of swords. Ooh. I love that this, I didn't realize this ten of swords has traitor on it. Is this Harry coming back? And now justice is, is justice will be paid. And King of Spears, here comes this King of Wands again. Oh, this is um, Princess Anne. This is my Princess Anne card. Even looks like her hair. Yes, Princess Anne is going to sort this out. Princess Anne is going to sort this out. I think she has been. I think she has spoken to uh, the girls or the Yorks and said, "Smarten up, smarten up." Because once Megan's gone, you're going to be left with nothing. I think I think Princess Anne has stepped in here and uh, sorted out the traitor, sorted out Harry. And I've seen that in a couple of my readings that Princess Anne has stepped in and handled the traitor, which is Harry. Megan's not a traitor. She's uh, she's just a, a, a greedy, ignorant, um, wicked witch. She's not a traitor, though. Harry's a traitor. 
Harry's a traitor. There, you, there, you could have an argument for treason. Um, I think yeah, exactly. You're going to see the fool. You're going to see some new beginnings here. Um, and go back to my my reading about the energy between Megan and Harry. You're going to see some new beginnings once the tower moment happens. And here we have the seven of swords. Something's coming back. Harry's coming back, but not till this tower moment. Oh, the queen of spears, the queen of wands in reverse. Yeah. Once Megan's gone, once Megan's gone, Harry's coming back. Knight of spears, knight, knight of wands in reverse. Might not happen as right away, right? If this showed up right away, I'd say, yeah, this is happening very soon. But knight of spears in reverse is, it's not happening as fast as we want it. Let's put it that way. It's not happening as fast as we want it. Um, but I think that the York girls are in for, I think they're coming back with their, their tail between their legs and they've realized they hitched their wagon to the wrong star. And, uh, even with this moon card, the illusion is closing in this moon card could be either it's opening up and the moon is coming full, but this way it's, it, the, it's closing in on them. All the illusions and everything are closing in on them. And, uh, yeah. That's it. That's the reading. Thank you very much uh, for listening. Thank you so much for your likes, your your comments, your subscriptions. Again, I hate to repeat myself over and over. I am truly grateful for all of it. It all means something. And I, and I truly uh, adore all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Take good care. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.